We live in a novel situation. We live in a country of over 200, 230 million people, where now for more than 20 years, the official government position with regard to the assassination of one of the finest presidents we ever had, the official government position, continues to be that it was done by a lone assassin. This is now nearly a decade after the House Subcommittee on Assassinations concluded that it was a conspiracy. Nevertheless, the official position remains that it was done by a lone assassin. The position which initially was concluded and announced by the Warren Commission so, of so many years past, the infamous Warren Commission. And I say infamous because most people, most thinking people in the United States recognize that without any question, there had to be more than one gun shooting. It's obvious. And it was obvious to everyone at Dealey Plaza on November 22nd, 1963. And at that point, when they started proceeding down Elm Street, Shots started being fired from behind, and I assumed that it was Mr. Nicoletti because he was the one that was in the building, and I knew that Johnny Roselli was there. And uh, I remember the shots ringing out, and even though the president was being hit with the rounds, I was considering it a miss because I knew that we were going for a headshot on the president. And I had known he had been hit in the body, but I didn't know what part at that time. And I seen the body lurch, and I saw the body lurch again. I heard another shot that missed, and we were supposed to hit no one but Conley. I mean, no one but Mr. Kennedy. And I guess Governor Conley got hit with one of the rounds at that point. And I wasn't even sure of that because I was keeping Kennedy as best I could in the scope on the fireball. And when I got to the point where I thought it would be the last field of fire, I had zeroed in to the left side of the head there that I had because if I waited any longer, then Jacqueline Kennedy would have been in the line of fire. And I had been instructed for nothing to happen to her. And at that moment, I figured this is my last chance for a shot, and he still had not been hit in the head. So as I fired that round, Mr. Nicoletti and I had fired approximately at the same time as the hit started forward, then it went backward. And when I would have to say that his shell struck approximately one thousandth of a second ahead of mine, maybe, that's what started pushing the head forward, which caused me to miss in the left eye, and I came in on the left side of the temple.